Welcome to the Coastal Lowcountry Real Estate Channel. So are you looking to move to the Georgia, South Carolina Lowcountry and want to live in an area of rich and natural beauty, historical significance, and southern charm? Maybe an area that's near the water but does not necessarily have to be on the beach. An area that's convenient to state parks and historical landmarks. Well, if that sounds like the place for you, then stay tuned as we explore an area named after a song written by Savannah native and songwriter Johnny Mercer, Moon River. Stay tuned as we check out the Moon River District in Savannah, Georgia. Georgia, South Carolina Lowcountry. We're Keith and Donna Hellman, hosts of the Coastal Lowcountry Real Estate Channel and local realtors with Keller Williams. Do you want to know everything there is to know about living in the Lowcountry? Whether it's Savannah, Georgia, Hilton Head, South Carolina, Bluffton, South Carolina, or the surrounding areas? Well then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so that you'll be the first to know what's going on in our market. And we receive calls, emails, and texts every day from folks just like you looking to move to Hilton Head, Bluffton, and Savannah areas. And we absolutely love serving you. So whether you're looking to move in the next week, the next month, or the next year, shoot us a text, send us an email, give us a call, or schedule a Zoom call, all in the description below so that we can help make your move to the Lowcountry a smooth one. Hey. Let's, Let's get started. started. The Savannah area is one of the best places where you can live and experience not only its history, but its natural beauty. Today, we're exploring just one of those areas nestled in the southern reaches of Savannah, Georgia. The Moon River District offers a captivating blend of natural beauty, historical significance, and southern charm. This lesser known gem provides a serene escape from the hustle and bustle of downtown Savannah, inviting visitors to explore its scenic landscape, historic sites, and vibrant communities. Whether you're a history buff, natural enthusiast, or simply seeking a peaceful retreat, the Moon River District has something for everyone. And if you stay until the end of the video, we'll look at a home or two, and then dive into my computer to see what has recently sold in the area. So get ready as we explore some of the highlights of the Moon River District. The Moon River District is comprised of Burnside Island, Skidaway Island, Sandfly, Isle of Hope, Ossabaw Island, and Dutch Island. The district was named after the famous song Moon River, immortalized by Savannah native Johnny Mercer. And there actually is a Moon River an inlet off of the Skidaway River near Savannah, Georgia, John A. Mercer's hometown, was named Moon River in honor of him and this song. The district is a natural wonderland, as its natural beauty is one of its most compelling features. The expanse of marshlands, meandering rivers, and lush maritime forests provides a stunning backdrop for outdoor activities and wildlife observations. Skidaway Island State Park is part of the Moon River District and is a highlight for nature lovers. The park offers miles of scenic trails that wind through maritime forests and salt marshes, providing opportunities for hiking, bird watching, and picnicking. The park's interpretive center features exhibits on the local ecology and history, enriching the visitor's understanding of the area's natural heritage. For those looking to extend their visit, the park offers a well-equipped campground with facilities for both tents and RVs. The campground features spacious shaded sites with amenities such as water and electrical hookups, picnic tables, and fire rings. Modern restrooms and laundry facilities are also available, ensuring a comfortable stay for campers. In addition to camping, the park offers a range of recreational activities. The park's picnic areas are perfect for a family outing, while the playgrounds provides a space for children to play. Canoeing and kayaking are popular activities in the park's tidal creeks and waterways, offering a unique perspective of the park's natural beauty. Paddling through the tranquil creeks and rivers, visitors can spot a variety of wildlife, including herons, egrets, and dolphins, 
while enjoying the serene landscape. The Boone River District is also steeped in history with several significant sites that offer a glimpse into the region's past. One of the most notable is Wormslow Historic Site. Wormslow Historic Site encompasses over 800 acres of coastal forest and marshland. Visitors to Wormslow can walk beneath the iconic Oak Avenue, draped in Spanish moss, explore the ruins of the colonial Tabby House, and learn about the early history of Georgia through informative exhibits and reenactments. And Keith and I went on the trolley ride at Wormslow and had a wonderful time. Wormslow dates back to the mid-18th century when Noble Jones, a carpenter and soldier who arrived with James Oglethorpe and the first settlers of Georgia in 1733, established a fortified home on the property. The Tabby House was constructed using a mixture of lime, sand, water, and crushed oyster shells, a building technique common in the region during that period. Behind me you can see the ruins of the home still standing today. These ruins, coupled with the estate's lush natural surroundings, provide a tangible connection to the past, allowing visitors to step back in time and experience the early days of Georgia's colonial history. The Wormslow Historic Site is not only a place of historical significance, but also an important center for preservation and education. The Georgia Department of Natural Resources manages the site, ensuring that its cultural and natural resources are protected for future generations. Ongoing preservation efforts focus on maintaining the ruins, landscapes, and artifacts that make Wormslow a valuable historical and educational resource. The Moon River District is also home to a vibrant community that celebrates its cultural heritage through various events and activities. The district's farmers markets, local festivals, and community gatherings offer a taste of the local flavor and foster a strong sense of community. One of the cultural highlights is the Pinpoint Heritage Museum, located in the historic African American community of Pinpoint. The museum housed in a former oyster and crab factory, tells a story of the Gullah Geechee people, descendants of enslaved Africans who developed a unique culture and language in the coastal regions of the southern, southeastern United States. Visitors can learn about the community's his history, traditions, and way of life through engaging exhibits and personal stories. Another highlight of the area is the Bethesda Academy. The Academy is a school and working farm that was founded for orphans in 1740 by Reverend George Whitfield. Bethesda Academy was originally established, established as the Bethesda Orphan House and Academy, aimed at caring for and educating orphaned boys in the Georgia colony. George Whitfield was a key figure in the Great Awakening and envisioned the school as a refuge and trading ground for boys who would become moral and productive members of society. Today, Bethesda Academy offers a comprehensive college preparatory curriculum designed to challenge and inspire students. And of course, no visit to the Moon River District would be complete without savoring the local cuisine. The district boasts several dining establishments that offer delicious southern fare, fresh seafood, and low country specialties. Whether you're enjoying a casual meal at a riverside eatery or dining at a historic inn, the culinary offerings reflect the rich flavors and traditions of the region. Some of our favorite restaurants are Cohen's Retreat, Sandfly Barbecue, Driftaway Cafe and Castaways. While filming this video, we did eat at Cohen's Retreat and Castaways. The Isle of Hope Historic District is another treasure, showcasing charming antebellum homes and tree-lined streets that evoke a sense of timeless Southern elegance. I personally have fond memories of visiting Isle of Hope as a child, a stroll through the picturesque neighborhood provides a window into Savannah's rich architectural heritage and offers stunning views of the Skidaway River. Also, at the outermost edge of the Moon River District, Osaba Island State Heritage Preserve reveals a long history from Native Americans who lived there 4,000 years ago. Accessible only by boat, Osaba offers tours and workshops on a variety of topics depending 
on visitors' interests. And one of the most attractive features of the Moon River District is its proximity to the water. Many homes are situated along the river or its tributaries, offering direct access to boating, fishing, and other water activities. Waterfront properties in the district often come with their own private docks, allowing homeowners to easily explore the scenic waterways of the area. Living by the water also means enjoying stunning sunrises and sunsets, as well as the soothing sounds of the river and abundant wildlife that calls the area home. The natural beauty of the Moon River District creates a serene and relaxing atmosphere that is hard to find elsewhere. The Moon River District also features a diverse array of home styles that cater to different tastes and preferences. From charming historic cottages to modern waterfront estates, the district offers something for everyone. Many homes are designed to take advantage of the stunning natural surroundings with large windows, spacious porches, and decks that provide panoramic views of the river and marshlands. Homes in the area often feature classic southern architecture with elements such as wraparound porches, high ceilings, and intricate woodwork. These homes reflect the rich history and cultural heritage of Savannah, offering a sense of timeless elegance and charm. Hey, let's jump into my computer and take a look at a few of the homes that have recently sold in the Moon River District. So we're jumping into my computer here and we're going to kind of give you an idea as to where uh, Moon River District is in relationship to, in relationship to, to Savannah. So you see Savannah up here to the north and the Moon River District is down around this area here at Tidy Island and the Atlantic Ocean out this way, Wilmington River. Off to the west you see I-95, I-16 up to the north. So let's dive in a little closer and uh, look at some homes. So we're going to start over here in the west side. Got to look at this house for $365,000. It went on the market for $365 and sold for $365. Four bedroom, three baths, 1,428 square feet. Good little cottage home, almost a little over a tenth of an acre, built in 1992. They refurbished it. And you got to love the, uh, the front porch. Nice big deep front porch. I love the wide staring staircase going up upstairs. And the wrought iron uh, banisters here. Nice living room area. Looks like either hardwood floors throughout or uh, LVP, one or the other. And honestly, it really looks like uh, hardwood floors. They did an excellent job of staging this. I love the low country, uh, low country furniture furnishings they have in it. Can ceilings, or can lighting in the ceilings. Nice open uh, kitchen area. Did a good job with the kitchen, the subway uh, tile backslash, and it's got the stainless steel <coughs> utilities throughout. Looks like an office, probably acts as another bedroom. Good size bonus room. Looks like we're going into the master uh, master bath. They redid the shower. This looks like the master bedroom. And a good fenced in backyard. So that's just one of the homes that we're looking at. This is over in the, uh, this is, this is again, is the, the Moon River District. Let's jump back into the map here. Take a look at another home. Here I come down here. This home is actually near the water. This home sold, it was listed for 449,000, almost 450,000, and sold for 432,000. Three bedroom, two baths, 1,766 square feet and 0.22 acres. This has access to marina dock, playground, pool, community, swim, and tennis. So you can see the distance here from the house to the river. And you also, in later pictures, see the, uh, the marina. This is on the Isle of Hope, one of the islands in the Moon River District. Nice open kitchen. I like the island with the gas stove in the middle of it. A 
nice size bedrooms. And a screened in porch. Gotta have screened in porches down here, keep the bugs off. Okay, now we're getting into what looks like the marina. I will hope marina. So if you got a boat, that's a great place to dock it. Let's jump back into the map and go to another home here in the area. This one sold for 925,000. Listed for 949, sold for 925, built in 1978, four bedroom, three and a half bath, 2,748 square feet. Let's take a look inside. They've done a really nice job with this house. This uh, could be LVP throughout. Nice open kitchen. They did a good job renovating the kitchen. I love the wood burning fireplace. Also love the beams in the ceiling. Hi guys, we're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you're enjoying the videos, you know what to do. Please hit the subscribe button below. This looks like the primary bedroom. Primary bath with the uh, standalone tub, double sinks. Have all the popular covers and colors and the uh, nice uh, walk-in shower. Good size uh, primary closet. And these are some of the other bath, uh, bedrooms. Again, another screened in porch, fenced in backyard. Very nice home. $949,000 list price, $925,000 sale. So let's take a look at one more. Now this one's up in Dutch Island. Dutch Island is up in this area of Moon River District. We were down here. So let's go up near the Wilmington Island, Skid, um, Wilmington River, Skidway River. This house uh, was listed for $750,000, sold for $735,000, built in 1999, four bedroom, three and a half bath, almost 3,000 square feet. On Dutch Island, let's take a look. I love the nice, first thing you see is a nice brick home. Well manicured lawn. Looks like hardwood floors throughout. Nice fireplace. Don't get to use the fireplace down here very often, but when it's uh, cold in January and February, it is nice to have uh, a, a, a fireplace in the home. Nice open kitchen. That could be stone countertops. And it looks like we're in the primary uh, bedroom, primary bath. And I hear wallpapers making a comeback. Nice bonus room, half bath. Nice backyard, nice, uh, nice deck for entertaining with a jacuzzi tub. All right, again, that was a 2,900, 24 square foot uh, home, four bedroom, three and a half baths, on almost half an acre on Dutch Island, sold for 700, uh, 735,000, list price was 750. So that kind of gives you an idea as to what we have here in the uh, Moon River District. So let's jump back uh, back to the video. The Moon River District in Savannah, Georgia is a captivating destination that seamlessly blends natural beauty, historical significance, and cultural richness. From the serene landscapes of the Skidaway Island State Park to the historic charm of Wormslow and the Isle of Hope, the district offers a diverse array of experiences for visitors. Whether you're exploring the waterways, delving into the past, or simply enjoying the local culture and cuisine, the Moon River District promises a memorable, memorable and enriching journey as an idyllic retreat from the hustle and bustle of city life. This hidden gem of Savannah is a testament to the enduring allure of the Low Country. So we hope you've enjoyed our time together today. We also hope that you found this helpful and even learned something new. 
If you want to stay up to date on the latest of what's going on in the Georgia, South Carolina Lowcountry, please be sure to like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications so you'll be the first to know about the current market here. Or even better, if the Low Country looks like a place you would like to call home, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or book a Zoom call, all in the description below. Again, this is Keith and Donna Hellman, hosts of the Coastal Low Country Real Estate Channel and local realtors, and it has been an absolute pleasure spending time with you again today.